finding the strongest Pokemon in Minecraft, Pixelmon. Each round will focus on a different Pokemon stat, and we'll have three minutes per round to catch Pokemon. Once the round is done, we'll each elect one of the Pokemon we caught that round and meet up to see who's is stronger. Whichever Pokemon has the highest stat for that round wins. First person to win four rounds is the winner. And here we are, Mr. Shiru, with the first round. We're gonna be catching common Pokemon, and we're looking at the speed stat. Are you ready? Yep, let's do this. Woo! All right, three, two, one, good luck, sir. Go! And here we go. We got three minutes to catch the fastest common Pokemon. We got to start moving. We're starting off pretty basic for this round, but next round, we're catching pseudo legendary Pokemon, so you don't want to miss that. Oh, we have a Dragapult that just spawned right in front of us. That is a very fast Pokemon. We have to keep that in mind. Whoa! Whoa, Bolton. Hold on. Wait, I feel like Bolton is crazy fast. If pretty much any electric type Pokemon that I see, I'm going to catch because electric type Pokemon are notorious for being exceptionally fast. Oh, wait, a Talon Flame. That is insanely fast. Can we catch up to it, please? Yes, we caught it. Oh, that was like our last chance too. He was flying all the way over there. No way. But with 15 seconds left, I don't know if that's enough to find a faster Pokemon. There's a Raikou here. Oh, Jolteon. Okay, hold on. We got 10 seconds left. Okay, perfect. Jolteon, I know is very, very fast fast, so I think I'm gonna lock that in as my answer. Let's go. The time is now up. I think we're gonna choose Talonflame as our Pokemon. Mr. Cyrus, I hope you caught a very fast Pokemon. I sure did, dude. At the last second, I got something that I'm pretty sure is going to win. Oh, that has me a little nervous, but it's time for us to throw our Pokemon out. Yay! Oh, a Jolteon and Talonflame. Two insanely fast Pokemon. I actually have no idea who won this round. Time to look up our speed stat. And Mr. Cyrus Talonflame's speed stat is 126. Yay! Yes! No way. Jolteon is 130, baby. So Mr. Cyrus gets round one on to round two. And we're on to round two, which is the attack stat. And this time we're catching pseudo legendary Pokemon. That sounds sick. And the timer starts. Now it starts now. Good luck, Mr. Cyber. Go, go, go. So three minutes now to catch pseudo legendary Pokemon with the highest attack stat. And honestly, a lot of pseudo legendaries have really high attack. And of course, I had to come back to my hometown of the desert. Is that a meta? It is a Metagross. <laughs> Okay. Imagine if that was a Mega Metagross. We would be in business, but Metagross is a great pseudo legendary to start with. Ooh, Dragonite. Yo. Okay. That's got to be pretty stinking good. And we have a minute and 15 seconds to track it down. So come on. We got to lock in, guys. We need all the luck in the world today. And if you guys want to give me luck, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yes. That is what I was looking for. Tide Red and Tar, baby. And I'm pretty sure Baxcalibur has higher attack. Let's go. Oh, dude, 20 seconds still left on the clock, and I think we just caught one of the strongest attacking pseudos. So I think it goes without saying, but we are electing Baxcalibur as our Pokemon this round. And Mr. Cyber, it is time to see what Pokemon we both elected. I am nervous, dude. I think I got a pretty good one this round, but I want to make sure it's a definite win. You're in trouble. That's all I'm going to say. You are in big time trouble. Yeet! Oh! oh! Titar versus Baxcalibur. Time to see who's the stronger attacker. And Mr. Cyru, what is Tyranitar's base attack? It's very high. It is so high that you're gonna cry real man tears in one second. And it is a crazy total of 130 for attack. 134 is, that, that's what you got? Okay, no, that's cool. Because Baxcalibur has 145 base attack, baby. Let's go. So I have secured the pseudo legendary round. It is one to one, Mr. Cyber. We are tied. Round number three, we are on to the defense stat. And this time we're catching starter Pokemon. Yeah, that sounds sick. It is gonna be sick. Starting now. Good luck. Good luck. So this round's gonna be super interesting because I actually have no idea what starter has the highest defense? Ooh, Meganium. Probably the worst starter Pokemon of all time, but at least it's something. I'd rather have something on my team than nothing at all. But no, 
this is not what I meant. I mean, here we go. We have a fully evolved starter superior. One of my favorite starters as well. However, I don't think it is very defensive. Come on now, though. We need to find at least one more starter or I'm going to feel scared going into the battle. Ooh, M Boar. Okay. All right. I will take that. There's only like 50. Oh, pre Marina as well. Okay. We have three options going into this round. I really don't know who to pick, though. Oh, wait. I almost didn't even notice this was a starter. Blastoise, please come here, buddy. That is very helpful. Blastoise has got to have a decent defense stat. You know what? I'm just going to go with my gut and we're going to lock Blastoise in for this round. Mr. Siren, I hope you chose a very defensive Pokemon. I might have found the most defensive starter. I have no idea if mine is defensive or not, to be honest. It's a starter that I don't think anyone or their mother has ever used a single time, but it will come in clutch today. That has me kind of worried, but we should throw out our Pokemon at the same time here. Three, two, one. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh. Meganium. Time to look up our defense stats. What defense stat does Meganium have? Uh, it's a lot higher than I thought it was going to be, which is an amazing thing for me. It comes in in the triple digits. At the lowest triple digit number, it's 100. 100? Well, Mr. Siren, we have a tie. I chose Blastoise. They battle. Please tell me they have to battle. It is a 1v1 battle. Oh, yes. Oh, that's perfect. So here we are with the tiebreaker battle. Of course, I have to fight a grass type. And he knows probably the strongest grass move in the game, <laughs> pedal dance. And we <laughs> just get one shot. Let's go. My game is the best starter in the whole game, bro. Wow, so Mr. Cyrude is up two to one. We got to work. On the next round now, which of course is special attack stat. And get ready for this. Get ready for this. We are catching mythical Pokemon. Are you ready, Mr. Cyrude? I am. That sounds sick. All right. Well, the timer starts now. Good luck, sir. Good luck. So special attack stat and we're catching mythical Pokemon this round. Honestly, I love mythical Pokemon. They're some of my favorite types of Pokemon, but next round we'll be catching legendary Pokemon. Pokemon, so you don't want to miss that. And speaking of missing things, we have missed all the mythicals. I have not seen a single one in a minute. This has me worried. Oh, Metal Metal, that is a mythical Pokemon. Might be the worst special attacking mythical in the game, but I gotta catch something. I guess Metal Metal is that something. Oh! There we go, Deoxys, yes! Oh, the Savannah Biome brings us luck. You don't see that too, oh, and a Zerka Tree. Unfortunately, Ultra Beasts do not count. But there we go, we at least have one mythical Pokemon to go into the round, but we have 47 seconds, let's find another. Oh, okay, Mew, Mew, I will take Mew. I think it has all base stats of 100. That's not too bad. Is it the best? Probably not, but I, I, it's all right. It's much better than Melmetal at least. We have an Eternatus, that is not gonna help us at all. But Magirna, Will. Magirna definitely will. Caught with eight seconds left on the timer. Oh my, and it's a rude. No, but the time ran out. But now we got to choose between Magirna and Deoxys. And honestly, I think I'm going to choose Magirna. Let's send out our Pokemon. Yay. Ooh, Magirna. This might be close. Mew versus Magirna. I really don't know. I have no idea who has the edge here. Uh, let's, just, let's just look up our stats, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Cyrude, what special attack stat does Mew have? Well, Mew is similar to Arceus, where all of its stats are the exact same, except it's just worse than Arceus. So it has a base stat total in special attack of 100. Pretty solid, pretty solid. But Magirna, on the other hand, has a base special attack of 130. Whoa! <laughs> no way! So by 30 points, I win. Let's go, baby. It is two to two, all tied up. We're all tied up at two to two. This round is legendary Pokemon in HP stats. Go, go, go! I see Rick <laughs> right here! No! Yes! Of course I ran in the wrong direction. All right, good luck, Mr. Cyrus. Good luck. And just like that, we start this round off with a Rayquaza. Unfortunately, I don't think it has the highest HP stat. Palkia, possibly. That could definitely work. I will definitely take a Palkia. Palkia is a pretty bulky legendary that makes me think it has high HP. But we have officially used up half of our time this round. We need to start going fast. We got to pick up the pace here. Oh, Sogaleo, no way. Sogaleo has to have a lot of 
of HP. I mean, look at them big, bodacious booty cheeks. Oh, Suicune might be our pick. This is a very bulky Pokemon. Does it have more HP than Palkia, though? I really don't know. 30 seconds left. I'm just happy we have three legendary Pokemon to choose from. Because at least we didn't just find Zamazenta and we're forced to bring it. That would stink. But that is time. Let's see if we beat Arpus. We are going to choose Suicune. Hopefully, it has the highest HP. So it is two to two, Mr. Cyber. Whoever wins this round is one point away from winning the whole challenge. I'm feeling really good about this one, bro. I found this guy with about 30 seconds left, and I think it's going to be the winner. The buzzer beater. All right, well, let's see. Throw our Pokemon down. Three, two, one. Ooh, Suicune is definitely good. And Soul Galio is very bulky. I mean, it is a steel type after all. Let's look up the numbers. Suicune has base 100 HP. I mean, that's not bad. That's not terrible. What I will say, though, is it's nowhere no, near no, so good. No. Hey, yo, baby. He is a base HP stat of 137. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, he is bulky. Mr. Cyber is up three to two. Let's go, baby. So Mr. Cyber wins this round. He wins the challenge. This one is the special defense stat, and we're catching shiny legendary Pokemon. Okay, special defense. That's a tricky one. I'm down, though. Let's do it. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Hey, guys, we cannot let Mr. Cyber win this round. I want to win the whole challenge today. So we got to go, 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 but we also need to get lucky and find a shiny legend. Oh! Mewtwo, hold on. I mean, Mewtwo's very offensive. It's very fast. I feel like it's probably got a pretty good special defense. I don't know, though. I don't know. Oh, we have our first one, a shiny Dialga, too. I feel like Dialga has to have pretty decent special defense. That is not bad. Oh, Glass Dryer. Hold on. Wait, this is like one of the most defensive legendary Pokemon in the entire game. It's so defensive that it uses the move Body Press oftentimes, which uses your defense stat as your attack stat. Shiny Kyogre with 18 seconds left. Ooh, I mean, I think we have to bring the Shiny Kyogre. I'm pretty sure it's got great special defense. We need to win this round. So you know what? Shiny Kyogre, it is. Here we go. Let's send out the Pokemon. Come on! Ooh! Ooh Kyogre, Kyogre versus Glastra. I know you're insanely slow, but I have no idea what your special defense is. I think it's really good, dude. I hope not. I really hope not. All right, let's look it up. And Mr. Siren, you're the guest. Would you like to do the honors of saying your staff first? I would be glad to because I'm very happy with him. We have a special defense of 110, baby. Let's go. 110. Well, Mr. Kyogre has a special defense stat of 140. So it is all tied up at three, baby. And we are on to the final round. And Mr. Cyber, we're here at the final round. Whoever wins this wins the whole challenge. In this round, we're not focusing on one stat. We're focusing on the base stat total, and we can catch anything. Fusions, Paradox, you can catch custom Pokemon, anything. So we made it to the final round. It is tied up at three to three. We gotta find the strongest Pokemon possible. Base stat total is the total of all the Pokemon stats added together. So basically, it's finding the strongest Pokemon. This man said we can catch anything. Oh, there's a Zekrom right there, baby. Zekrom already has a base stat total of like 600 and something. If I can find a Charizard, I can fuse them together to create Zekazard, bro. That would be nuts. This round, I am mainly looking for fusion Pokemon. Because if Siren gets a fusion and we don't, that's pretty much just an auto loss. Oh, there we go. There's a Charizard. No way. Now we can go fuse the two together already. Oh, there's no way, Arbus beats me. There's no way. Our first fusion, Incineroar Unbound. There's a Necrozma up there too. But yo, this is Incineroar and Hoopa Unbound fused together, which means it's a very strong Pokemon. That is awesome. And just like that, the two Pokemon are fusing to create Zekizar. Let's go. This Pokemon is insane, dude. Look at this. Yo, we have Paradox Charizard, Iron Wing, Futuristic Charizard. I am definitely catching that. That is insane. And now we have nine seconds. There's a Grouch up. Wait, another fusion, please. Get in the ball. Yes, it got in the ball. Time is out, but we already caught it first. So which of these three Pokemon do we bring? I feel like they're all so good. Oh, Iron Wing is so cool, but we're going to go for the Incineroar Unbound. I have a feeling 
feeling it's got the highest stat total. And it's time to see who the winner of the challenge is today. Mr. Cybert, I hope you caught a strong Pokemon. I'm just gonna say that. I sure did, dude. It's actually two Pokemon fused together. Oh, yeah. So let's see our fusions in three, two, one. Come on. Oh, Ooh. no way. You got Incineroar Unbound, bro. Zekizard, Zekrom Charizard versus Incineroar and Hoopa Unbound. I have no idea who's gonna win. I am so happy with my base stat total. It is insane. It comes in at a whopping 708. 708. Incineroar Unbound has a base stat total of 673. Yes! Come on! So Mr. Cyru takes the final round and wins the challenge with four points. Don't forget to subscribe.